Agenda is the show and I am at Inuke Nuke. We're going to start off with street friends without wasting our time. A topic came up, um, a discussion came up and they were saying that a man sent a woman through school and then the woman went to marry some other person. So with or without agreement, are you of the belief that a woman should marry a man as probably like compensation as a way of compensating the man for sending her to school that is respect irrespective of whatever agreements they have. So Zara Abuka very good. We're talking about that on street trends today. Let's hear from them. So today on street trends we'll be talking to people to know their stance on this issue. Should Miss Somebody marry Mr. Somebody for seeing her through school or she could find some way else to repay Mr. Somebody for the gesture. Regarding the question, I don't think it's correct because I feel like that is grooming. I mean if you are saying like this person that you're talking about is like I don't know a little child and you like took the person like through school, you know. I feel like it's grooming. If you want to marry someone, go and marry someone that's already. Do not I mean see someone that needs your help and like give them money and say, oh after this you marry them. Very wrong. Right there there was no any agreement before the sponsorship that okay I will sponsor you that you marry me. There's there's no agreement that is written down that we are I don't think it should, it should be a challenge. Marriage should be uh, mutual, and then the two parties must agree. Not just because of sponsorship, they want to get the marriage, and then if they, if they don't agree and they just got sponsorship, they get the marriage, the marriage is going to crash. I carry out the expectation because she won't marry me. But That's when right. she goes to school, she sees another boy, uh, boyfriend, she says she knows they marry me, I'll just give everything. My own one my hand. I know they'll do anything, even though she go, they should go. Through. I don't really do anything for back again. I don't live like that. If I train a girl in the school and she insists to marry me, I have nothing to do because if she go to school now, if she see another husband, she insists to marry that one, I have nothing to do because now like this, if you train a girl for school and you have that mind that yes, I have to train this one, even if she insists to marry me or not, but let her have that sense or that effort to do that school, to get experience for some things that will help her in life. So me, in my own understanding, I have nothing to do. Even if she did not marry me, but I know that I turn her with my mind, I leave it for good. You've heard from the street, and that's it on this episode of That Gender. I am Zahra Abdul-Kabir. Thank you so much, Zara. It's so good to hear about the, you know, diverse opinion of what people think, especially about controversial topics. Okay, so moving on to our mentorship segment. Have you ever considered farming as a woman? We're not even talking about this um, heavy farming, just probably owning a garden. We're not talking about flowers either. Owning a garden that you can actually pour carrots, pepper, or some certain things that you can use to spice your food. There are some women in this Nigeria, they own gardens. In fact, they own farms that you can actually prepare a full meal from. So who are we going to be drawing our mentorship from? We're going to be drawing it from the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency Mrs. Uluru Emitinubu. She owns a garden. She is a proud farmer. And let's take a look at what she has to say. Her people are growing, you know, like the, fir f me, me, uh, the First Lady of Ikiti State. She has crops already. She has produce. Okra. She actually sent me most of the, the seeds from Ikiti, you know. She has a bucket full of... I'll send you some of... I, if you call her, she can send you some of what she's done. Mrs. Akbabio too. She's, she's even doing smart gardening. So most of her water leaves are in pots. So, and um, Mrs. Shetima, I think she's about, you know, getting her re a garden ready as well. So everybody is challenged and we are doing that. And... Uh, First Lady of Imo State is here. I think she started. It's only Mrs. Matawali that hasn't done anything. So I'm calling all of them out. So we have to lead by example. Don't just talk the talk, walk your talk. The take home, own a garden today, big or small, just own a garden today. And you may be the source of the solution to ending food crisis. Moving on, Girl Talk Unusual, my favorite segment actually because there are a lot of things that women don't like discussing in public, but they discuss it in their DMs, they discuss it where the camera is not on them. Have you ever heard about the word toilet disease? 
yes, toilet it is, it is prevalent amongst women. But they coin it as toilet disease. Is it supposed to be toilet disease or are we supposed to look for a particular name for it? We're going to take an excerpt from Women Voices where a medical expert came to talk about that word, toilet disease. Let's take a listen. I have Dr. Samuel Aliyu. Dr. Samuel Aliyu is a maternal and child health specialist. They will be talking about all we need to know about urinary tract infection, UTI. I know some people call it toilet disease. <laughs> it will tell us. <laughs> whether, I, 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 saw, I saw the look on his face before the, the show when I said uh, they call it toilet disease. Toilet disease? No way. All right. Okay. So we have Dr. Samuel Aliyu. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm very well. And you, how are you doing? Very well. Thank you. Okay. okay. So we go straight to the point. You tell us all about UTI and what we need to know about ur urinary tract infection. Okay, so as the name suggests, um, urinary tract infection is an infection of the urinary system. So um, it extends from the kidney mm. to the ureter to the bladder and to the urethra. So it's more like a system of tubes mm. you know, and organs yes. that make up that system. So any infection, you know, to the tract, mm. it uh, can actually, you know, cause uh, UTI. Infection. Okay. So, um, what are the causes? You know, a lot of people believe, not even a lot of people, me personally, I always believe that if I go into a toilet that is not well taken care of, I may catch something. I and 1,001 other women believe that share that belief so because of that if i'm going to make use of public toilet i'm always like no i don't want to make use of this toilet so that i do not get an itchy under so could you clarify especially when people call it toilet disease or they feel that the it has been contacted or it's been contacted via the toilet okay so maybe i should just uh, tell you how this really works you're okay. discussing uti so um the kidney mm. you know, actually performs the function of you know, urine production, right? Yes. So urine goes down through the mm. ureta and then to the bladder and then to the urethra. The mm. urethra is the opening that takes the urine out of the body. Okay. Okay. So but when it comes to infection, yes. right? So it's caused by a bacteria. Okay. So the bacteria, you know, comes from the outside, introduced from the anus, and you know, it's you know, climbs up mm -hmm. via the urethra okay. to the urinary bladder. Yes. Okay. So when it gets to the urinary bladder, what happens is, you know, bacteria, when they climb up to the urinary bladder, what they want to do is to colonize the whole system, mm. you know, take over the whole system and begin to spread. Mm. So, so when it spreads, if it is not treated at that point, yes. it could climb up. Mm. It climbs up through the ureter and then to the kidney. Okay. So we do not want it to get to the kidney. Okay? All right. So, but again, you are talking about um, toilet, toilet yes. infection. Yes. So I hear that a lot. Okay. But again, um, I do not think mm. that uh, toilet infection or whatever you call it is caused uh, or the, is the main cause of UTI. Mm. And uh, the reason is because if you use a toilet seater, yes. There is no way germs can magically fly into your system. Hmm. It, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't introduce, you know, germs into your bladder okay. by using a toilet seater. Hmm. It doesn't work that way. Hmm. So what happens is you already have, you know, bacteria within your system, right? So I, I just said anus. From the anus is easier to move these things you know, up mm. towards the ureter and then to the bladder. So if you have something like Escherichia coli, okay. which is the common organism in the GI, yes. okay, in stool. Mm. So if you go to toilet yes. and then you don't properly clean up mm. and then you clean probably from the back to the front. Mm. So you are likely going to introduce that organism mm. into your urethra because you are cleaning, you're not cleaning properly, you clean from, you know, behind forward. Hmm. So, and that is why we encourage women that when they use the toilet hmm. and they, they have needs to clean, hmm. it is it is better to clean from the front to the, to back, the back, not from the back to the front. Because when you clean from the back hmm. to the front, you are introducing organism 
into the urinary system okay yes and you are, you are you become susceptible to infection all right this long debate there's been this long debate about how properly to wash um let's end this debate here and now tissue or water for you what do you think is the ideal way to clean properly tissue water wipes which one i think water serves best okay okay because some of these wipes you know they come with some um, chemicals, mm. okay. And when you use those kind of wipes, you know, in your in your genital area, mm. it can actually cause irritation. Okay. okay, it can cause irritation. It can even introduce certain things to your system, mm. like the, the the genital area is something that can self, you know, mediate itself, can self regulate itself. Mm. Okay, it's a self cleanse. It has a self cleansing mechanism. So that can actually clean itself. Mm. So by the time you begin to call, uh, bring in or introduce other things to it, it can cause irritation and then it can cause infection. Uh, you can join us, send your conversations. I keep telling you, send your conversations. You can just send us inbox. Tell us what you think. We can discuss your topic and we can also have you on the show. So look forward to another episode of That Gender. I am Antinike. Thanks for watching.